How do you, How create, do you create an animated a real character person online? online? You can't create a real person online. You can't create an animated character either. Yes, you can. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. How to make animated characters online. So the keyword here really is online because we're not gonna make it in these fancy animation tools like Adobe, After Effects, or Illustrator, whatever you use. We're gonna use an online animation tool. And um, I have found some different ones here, Vyond, Powtoon, Videoscribe, Animaker, Movely, and Toonly. All are great animation tools that you can use from a browser where you pay a monthly subscription and then you can use them. So you can create animated characters in all of them, but what I'm used to using is Vyond. So I'm gonna show you how I created the intro here. Not the full thing with the split screen, it was pretty easy, but I'm just gonna show you how to do the animated version of me using Vyond. So I have opened up Vyond Studio here, I've logged in, and uh, this is the guy. I'll just show you uh, exactly how to, to do the full thing. Go to Vyond's website, right? You uh, click the login button, and uh, from here you're gonna see all the videos you've created so far. Start by making a new video, you can choose a style, and then from there you can create a new animated character. So the Vyond Studio opens up now and uh, from here I uh, see a, a template that I'm not really going to use. I'm just gonna delete that first scene and click characters up in the left corner and click the plus, create new character. You'll leave the studio and go to the character creator. So this is loading now. I'll choose the business friendly style because that's what I want to use now a man and uh, kind of uh, the second of these options. Then you'll see a guy, he's uh, actually done, but what you want to do is make alterations to his head, to his body, to his legs, to his feet, and you can do that in the right menu over here. So if I were to uh, recreate myself, I would choose a kind of a haircut that resembles my own, find a color that I find fitting to what I have on my head, um, and I would just uh, go through all the options, for example, the eyes. I'll choose these eyes, go back and choose a blue color, because I have blue eyes. And now I want to find something for the top. I'll choose a... You'll see a whole library of different things you can choose for your character. So it's really just a matter of choosing different elements of the character and uh, adjusting it to whatever you feel like. Now I'm trying to recreate myself, but you can create whatever kind of character you want. So I'll choose the t-shirt, I'll go back, find a color, well it's kind of bluish, uh, white, white yellow t-shirt I'm having on here, like that. And uh, yeah, okay, that's uh, pretty much done. I could also change his, his, uh, his legs, his bottom, and uh, choose some, some other pants if I wanted to do that. But uh, I'm only going to use his uh, upper body, so I'm gonna click, I'm gonna give it a name, my name, example, and save him. Go to Beyond Studio and I'll return to the Beyond Studio, the editor where I can use this new character for whatever I want. The quick way to use a animated character is to choose a template that's already made. Like, um, let's say we are going for home and we will do this uh, baby room scene. So I'll click the woman, I'll click replace. You can see Ulrich's example is uh, in my library, on the characters, my library, and there he is. When I click him, it's me sitting with the baby. And uh, that's a, a really fast and easy way to use yourself in different settings. See here I'm in the bathroom, replace, click me, and there I am brushing my teeth. Now let's see how it looks like. I already have some actions uh, that come from the scene template itself. I'm brushing my teeth here. And uh, that's pretty much how you do it. If you wanna use yourself or the character you just created in a black blank scene, you just put it into the frame. Let's choose a background color here. Green is better for the eyes, right? You click him and now you can give him all kinds of, uh, of actions. Shopping, he can grocery shop. He's busy, right? Well, I'm busy looking at the clock. I'll just 
flip his action, choose another one. See, fighting for sales item. Maybe that's Black Friday coming up. So you just um, create the character and automatically you can use all these different actions with the characters you just created. That's how you do it online. It takes a few minutes, nothing fancy. You create the, the style you want, attach some actions, put them into a, him or her, whatever, into a scene. And then you can use this animated character whatever way you want. I hope this little tutorial made sense. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more animated stuff, how to create faster videos with better results. Leave a comment if you want. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.